Hi everyone, today I have a new uh, ship stability question uh, solved for you. This question belongs to uh, the topic trim and these are trim type A problems. The questions have been taken from Captain Subramaniam's book Ship Stability 2. Uh, this is exercise number 22 and question number 18. Let's get started with the question without wasting much time here. So the question is a ship arrives port drawing 8 meter forward and 10 and half meter aft. So these are the drafts of the vessel. The length between perpendicular is 166 meter. HF is 3 meter aft. What is HF? HF is the horizontal or rather the longitudinal distance between the center of flotation and the midship of the vessel. So the midship of the vessel is denoted by the letter H and the center of flotation about which the ship pivots is denoted by the letter F. All right, so the longitudinal distance between H and F is 3 meters aft. The MCTC or the moment to change trim by 1 centimeter is 175 ton meter and TPC that is tons per centimeter immersion is 25. 250 tons of dangerous deck cargo is to be discharged at anchorage from HG. What is HG? HG is the longitudinal distance from the midship denoted by the letter h to the center of gravity of the deck cargo denoted by the letter g so the hg is 73 meters aft from the midship what you have to calculate is how many tons of water must be transferred from the aft peak tank to number one db tank through a distance of 140 meters this is a longitudinal distance you have to transfer water from the aft peak tank which is normally the most uh, the aftmost tank and you have to transfer it to number one double bottom tank which is towards the forward of the vessel meter by stern and you also have to state the final drafts forward and aft all right so naturally sorry about that so naturally you start uh, you see i'm pressing buttons that I don't know what is going on here all right everything is mysterious so you have to state the final drafts forward and aft um, all right so let's get started with the question I'll draw the ship here so I have drawn the ship here it's not a great drawing uh, as you probably know by now my videos don't have great drawings but just to for me to understand the question all right so like I said uh, any question which is involves any kind of calculation numericals try to draw the question so that it shows whether you understand the question or not so I have drawn the vessel and you can see the forward part of the vessel is here so this is like the starboard aspect of the vessel this is the aft aspect now of course the center or the midship rather is denoted by the letter H and so the length between perpendicular given to you in the question is 160 meters this is the length between the forward perpendicular and the aft perpendicular so naturally from the aft perpendicular to the forward perpendicular or rather the midship each distance would be 80 meters so from aft perpendicular to midship the longitudinal distance is 80 meters that is half of the length between perpendicular and similarly from midships to forward perpendicular the distance will be half of the length between perpendicular that is one by that is half of one by 60 that is 80 meters half of 160 half of 160 is 80 meters right the center of flotation as you can see here denoted by the letter f is three meters aft of the midships hf was three meters aft right everything is given in the question so whatever is given in the question i have drawn it here now the other thing that i have to draw is basically i'll use a different color pen so that doesn't get too cluttered for you so from here that is the aft peak tank let's call it the aft peak tank right you have to transfer water longitudinally to number one double bottom tank all right and now this horizontal distance is 140 meters all right and what else is given to you is that the cargo also there is also cargo that is to be discharged all right so how many tons of water this is water there's also cargo to be discharged from HG 73 meters aft so your cargo and I'll use a separate color pen again so your cargo is 73 meters aft so see uh, 73 meters aft means uh, somewhere so 80 meters is here so somewhere here let's say I'm just drawing it arbitrarily all right so don't don't worry too much about uh, my calculations here so or rather my drawings here so this is somewhere here the deck cargo is to be discharged this is to be discharged 
right? And the uh, HG, so that means the center of gravity here of the cargo to the midship is 73 meters aft. All right, so this is all is given. So let's get st uh, started with solving the question. So your initial draft given to you is forward and aft was 8 meters and 10.5 meters, right? This is given to us. So forward draft is 8 meters, aft draft is 10.5 meters, right? So the initial trim based on the forward or aft drafts given is equal to 10 and half meters minus 8 meters. That is the aft draft. Always take the uh, greater draft and then subtract the smaller draft from it minus the forward draft and since the half draft is more than the forward draft your trim which is the difference between the two drafts will be by stern because your half draft is more and that means the vessel is trimmed by stern so that is the current trim 2.5 meter by stern but the trim required as per the question the trim required is 1 meter by stern all right not 2.5 meters 1 meter by stern that means the change in trim required for your vessel will be 2.5 meter which is by stern minus 1 meter which is by stern so you have to change the trim of the vessel 1.5 meters by by head so what does that mean so you can see here the aft trim is more so let's say aft trim is 2.5 meters here all right the the stern is submerged uh, in reference to in in reference to the forward draft by two and a half meters but you have to reduce it you have to make it 1.5 meter by stern so that means you have to bring the stern of the vessel out of the water and bring the head of the vessel down all right when the vessel's head will go down and the stern will come out the stern trim will reduce so that's why when the cargo will discharge from aft the stern will come out when you transfer water from aft to forward the stern will come out because weight will be lost from the stern and weight will be somewhat added to the uh, head of the vessel or the forward part of the vessel all right so that's the whole question so you have the weight which is to be discharged the deck cargo which is 250 tons right and you have to discharge it from so what kind of effect will it have on the trim is normally known by is distance from the center of flotation so what is the distance from the center of flotation let's go back to the drawing here so my cargo which was 73 meters from the uh, midship what is the distance from the center of flotation so if it is 73 meters from the so this is the distance i have to calculate all right this horizontal distance so if it is 73 meters from the midship and my center of flotation is three meters after the midship this distance here will be 73 minus 3 which is 70 meters right and because the cargo is going to be discharged and the center of flotation is towards the forward so i will put here 70 meters and the trimming moment will be towards the head because as i discharge cargo from the stern the vessel will trim by head similarly i have to dis i have to add or rather transfer not add transfer water so there is no add or reduction here this is transfer of water uh, the, which the weight of which I don't know and I have to transfer it from aft peak to forward peak the distance between the two tanks as I told you is 140 meters but because the trimming moment will be by head I have drawn the arrow forward so as I transfer water from aft peak to forward peak or other number 1 dB as I explained before the weight will shift forward so the trimming moment will be by head so trimming moment both cases will be by head so we have nothing by stern so not required so how do i find trimming moment weight multiplied by distance is equal to trimming moment in both the cases the weight multiplied by distance is giving me a trimming moment by head so i will add the two trimming moments by head so total trim moment and this is only by head in this case will be 17500 plus 140 w w is the unknown weight i have to transfer from the half peak tank to the number one double bottom tank now this is trimming moment this is a trimming moment 17500 plus 140 w but also you have to know that there is another formula for trimming moment so trimming change in trim required which in our case is 1.5 meters equals trimming moment that is the net trimming moment divided by the mctc so mctc is given to us 
tra change in trim required was 1.5 meter but because moment to change trim by 1 centimeter mctc is in centimeters i will convert 1.5 meter into centimeters by multiplying it by 100 so this becomes 150 centimeters so therefore trim moment so trim moment stays where it is mctc goes to the other side cross multiplication so trim change required multiplied by mctc so 1.5 meters has been converted to centimeters all right so if you don't remember what is this 1.5 meters see here this is 1.5 meters this is a change in trim required we we highlighted it at the very beginning of the uh, solution right that is 1.5 meters i have converted into centimeters because moment to change trim by one centimeter that is mctc is for one centimeter not for meter so that's why you will have the trimming change required in centimeters as well so trimming change required or change in trim required multiplied by mctc will give you the trim moment as well now total trim moment is this equation one but it is also equal to this equation two right therefore taking equation one and two we have 26250 equals 17500 plus 140 w because both is the trimming moment both are trimming moments as you can see from above right so i have just equalized equation one and two both are equal to trimming moments so i can equalize them so therefore in this case of course w will be equal to just take this here this becomes minus and then divided by 140 you know how to do the transposition in the equation so weight is equal to 62.5 tons of water needs to be transferred all right for you to get the desired trim by head so you have to of course the desired trim is by stern one meter by stern but you have to trim the vessel by head to get that trim so you have to reduce the stern trim all right so that is the first answer the second answer is for the drafts now what is the drafts so basically you have to find out how much of the weight you have discharged or loaded so you have just discharged 250 tons of weight you have not loaded anything other than that you have transferred water so this water has been transferred so no weight has been added or discharged so since only 250 tons has been discharged of deck cargo you will find out the bodily rise because cargo has been discharged vessel will rise if cargo was added vessel would have sunk so bodily rise equals cargo discharge divided by tpc which is given to you in the question as 25 so tpc is 25 and cargo discharge is 250 250 by 25 is 10 meters or sorry, sorry 10 centimeters because again tpc is in tons per centimeter immersion so if you are thinking that why is one thing in meter and the other thing in centimeter again you remember that tpc is tons per centimeter immersion so the value you will get is in centimeters that's why it's in centimeters right so you, and of course your ship cannot rise by 10 meters if you discharge only 250 tons of cargo so that is how you have to think you have to think you have to use logic and common sense as well uh, so the answer will be 10 centimeters of course if you divide it but i have converted 10 centimeters into meters by dividing 10 by 100 because uh, i need this uh, bodily rise and i need to apply it to my drafts here my drafts are in meters so that's why i have converted my bodily rise in meters as well so you have forward draft here and you have aft draft here this is given to you then your vessel uh, rises by 0.1 meter both forward and aft because cargo was discharged so your net result after cargo was discharged is 7.9 and 10.4 but uh, you have also caused a change in the trim forward and trim aft by transferring water so what is that so how do i find this out this is found out here so what is trim aft trim aft that is ta is equal to distance from the aft perpendicular to the center of flotation multiplied by change in trim required divided by length between perpendicular now change in trim required you know is 1.5 meters you will keep it in meters because everything here is in meters your length between perpendicular is in meters nothing is in centimeters right that's given to you 166 what is this here from aft perpendicular to center of flotation let's find out the distance so if you see if you draw things you can easily find out right so from r perpendicular to center of flotation now because your uh, oh and sorry distance your lbp is 166 meters sorry about that see your lbp is 166 centimeters not 166 meters so this should be excuse me for that all right so if, if there was any confusion before 
I am sorry about that. See, these things happen to the best of us. So my length is 166. All right. So anyhow, it doesn't in, it doesn't affect the rest of the question. It would have affected just this part here. All right. So your R perpendicular is 83 meters from the midship. As you can see, your center of flotation is 80 meters. So let me erase the rest of it so that you guys don't get confused. So the this part is done, right? So we don't have to worry about that. This part is done as well. So nothing else is affected by my uh, incorrect length between perpendicular. So don't worry about it affecting the rest of the question, right? So you can see here R perpendicular is 83 meters from H, that is a midship. Therefore, from center of flotation, it will be 83 minus 3 meters, that is 80 meters. Right, that is the AF. So you can take this AF and you apply to formula here. So AF will be 80 meters multiplied by 1.5. So everything is in meters here. So you don't have to trans convert it into centimeters, which will give you 0 0.72 meters. Again, this is trim, change in trim aft. So change in trim forward is equal to total change in trim required, which was 1.5 meters minus change in trim aft, which is 1.5 minus 0 0.72 is equal to 0 0.78. And again, this is meters. Now you know that you have discharged cargo from the aft and you have transferred water from aft to forward. So naturally your aft draft will reduce. So aft draft you will subtract change in trim aft. This is TA and this is TF. You will add TF. All right, because your forward draft has increased. So therefore you will add the forward change in trim and you will subtract the aft change in trim because it is reducing. So your final draft is 8.68 meters and 9.68 meters. All right, so watch the video. Let me know if there are any other further questions regarding this question and I'll put up more videos on ship stability. I'm working on um, uh, Simpsons rules as well, as well as stream type A problems. Also planning to start uh, ship stability right from the beginning again uh, and put different questions, new questions, which will clear your basic concepts of ship stability because I realize that I'm doing advanced problems whereas some of you are struggling with understanding, conceptualizing, imagining the basic ship stability issues all right so let me know what you thought about this video guys i'm i'm uh, looking forward to your uh, feedback and uh, all the best with your studies and i hope you pass your exams uh, soon bye